Hello, fabulous Gemini. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of October 2020. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological month without a doubt. We are living in powerful times and it is a blue moon month starting on a full moon and ending on a full moon just in time for Halloween. Lots of surprising and quick moving energy playing out at this time as well. So let's start with the full moon that begins the month right out of the gate. This full moon is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with friendships and groups that you belong to. It is happening hand in hand with Chiron. There is a lot of vulnerability at this time and it may very well be playing out with you and either either a group or a group dynamic or playing out in terms of your alliances with another person that you consider a friend. Now, I see this energy playing out a couple of different ways. Either you are going to be asked to be a healer to one of these people in some way, or it may be that your experiences within a group dynamic have you feeling vulnerable as well. This is a full moon and full moons tend to bring with them heightened emotion, but also bring with them a sense of closure. Now, whether that is a closure between a particular dynamic that has been playing out and you realizing that you want to stay on within the dynamic, again, it could be with a friend, it could be within a group, it could be professional or personal. So you you may decide to stay on, but something fundamentally has to change, perhaps just within yourself. Or it may be that you realize that your alliance or purpose within this dynamic has served its purpose and now you're ready to go in a different direction. Well, these are some of the scenarios that may arise at this time. Now, regardless of what does play out, there is also a sense now of you realizing why certain dynamics have been there and how it is that you are either going to participate or heal or move forward. And that ultimately may be what helps you the most and what helps you to realize that you're not gonna continue certain patterns. In one way or another, this is about truth. This is about feeling more emotionally raw, but also realizing what you're gonna carry into your future and maybe what you no longer need to as part of empowering yourself more. Now, as we navigate right in the middle of the month is when we will have a new moon. This new moon is taking place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with a few different things, what your heart really wants, uh, what it is that you feel helps you to feel creatively fulfilled. Uh, this has to do with children that you have or children that you want. It is also connected to romance and flirtation, but we'll talk about that in just a little bit. And so this new moon is going to be speaking with the conglomerate of planets right now, mainly Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto in a conversation of tension, uh, which does suggest that this may not be the easiest energy. I'm so sorry to say that, but it does happen. Ultimately, this is a new moon, which represents new beginnings. We've got Mercury going retrograde right around the same time. So there's already an energy of confusion here as well. Now, if it is that you are using this energy in terms of your creativity, there may be a determination on your part to make your own way or to do something that feels more rewarding on a creative level. It may feel as if there is a new opportunity that feels challenging in some way, and yet you feel that you must or that you're encouraged to embrace it. It may feel at this time as if you are very much wanting to make progress, but not making the type of progress that you would want on a creative endeavor. But it could also be some new creative ideas that find you. Now, regardless, ultimately these uh, types of alignments that are happening that astrologers call a square, they represent motivation and determination as well. And the determination alone to improve your circumstances will ensure that you make some type of progress and meaningful change. For some of you, this may be related to children that you have or children that you want. Again, there is motivation to improve circumstances in some way. It may not be easy. It may involve asking some tough questions. And yet, there's also a desire to make things better and to commit to the journey, which means that your efforts will matter for something, especially in the fullness of time. For some of you using this energy in terms of getting clear about what it is that you truly want in every area of life, what feels as if it would be a more rewarding life for you, well, these may be some tough questions and the pathway to them may feel tough as well. 
However, the commitment and the confidence is there so that you do end up manifesting something that feels rewarding. This isn't a time for wins, I will say. This is about earning it. And so if it is that you are looking for a windfall of some kind that may not go as anticipated, and yet if you commit to the journey, you may find yourself reaping rewards. And again, not immediately, however, in the fullness of time. At the very end of the month on Halloween, we are going to have another full moon, blue moon month, right? Begins on a full moon, ends on a full moon. This is a very surprising, if not shocking, full moon at that. And that is especially true for you, given where it is taking place in your sky. And this is a part of the sky that has to do with what you're not aware of. Uranus is all about awareness, and this is about all of a sudden becoming aware. For some, this is going to be about you realizing your own motivations, having a depth of understanding as to where it is that perhaps you've been getting in your own way, perhaps sabotaging your best efforts. That awareness ultimately allows you to refine and change course so that you are consciously moving towards what you want. However, this may also be realizing things outside of yourself, uh, perhaps from other people, where it was that you had seen things very idealistically or a certain way, very quickly you may realize that things are actually different than you had thought. This may not be comfortable, but it is honest. And it is honesty ultimately that serves as a jumping off point for even better and even bigger ahead. It is going to be this very energy that ultimately invites you to get more clear about where it is you've been, whom it is that the people are in your life, and who stays and who goes. This part of the sky is connected to closing karmic ties, ending karmic chapters, and where it is that closure is long overdue, it may come quickly as part of setting the stage for next month, which is an eclipse month. In fact, you're going to have the first eclipse in your sign that you've had in many years, and that is really going to be a changeable moment for you. It is gonna be right now that the universe is going to clear space for the new and the next and the exciting right around the corner, and I'll be here to talk about it every step of the way. Where it comes to matters of love, it is going to be that new moon mid-month that does suggest mixed feelings or complicated factors, and yet it is going to be late in the month. Right around the 28th is when Venus is going to enter this same part of the sky, which means you will be feeling the love, you will be getting your flirt on. Regardless of what happens around that new moon, it will start to feel like love is an option for you. For those of you open to meeting someone new, it is going to be that new moon energy that may bring with it uh, an interaction or a flirtation that leaves you with mixed feelings. It may be that this person is wildly inappropriate in some way or that you're very aware of how complicated the situation is. But once we get to Venus entering this part of the sky, it's going to feel that much easier to connect with new people, that much easier to flirt and to feel the rush of new love. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, I do feel like that new moon is your moment of honesty, a moment of clarity as to what may really be going on with this person and perhaps some insight into how complicated the situation might be in a way that you hadn't appreciated before. Now, regardless of what happens, whether you decide to continue on or not, once Venus moves into this flirtatious, romantic part of the sky, it may feel like you have options available to you and a multitude of options available to you in the weeks ahead. For those of you who are in an established bond, um, some of this energy may play out in terms of children that you have or children that you want. There may be a sense of not being on the same page in some way, especially mid-month with that new moon, but that can facilitate new understandings. Now, regardless of what transpires, know that once Venus changes signs, moves into this very romantic part of the sky, it'll be that much easier to feel connected to this person that you love on a heart level. What I love about this month for you, well look, there's a lot here. It is a varied astrological month, that's for sure, but it is also one that is filled with change and surprise, and there's something rather comforting about that. In fact, it is you that really thrives when things are spontaneous and unexpected. Well, we've got plenty of that on offer this month. 
But ultimately, I do think that this is going to be a time when you are coming to a depth of understanding as to what really is in terms of what you really want, but also in terms of your alliances with others. And ultimately, that is going to set the stage for a deeper self-honesty, a sense of personal clarity that is positioning you very well to take advantage of the very bold eclipse coming up next month. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.